Our next guest is in studio and he goes by the name Gordon from Semakitu Organ Semanami Organization. He'll be telling us more about the organization, what it does, how it's helping young people out here and other people as well. Kaibu sana kwenye show. Asante sana Eve. First of all, thank you for hosting me this morning. I'm really delighted. You're welcome. Oh, Asante uh -huh. sana. So kindly introduce yourself and tell us a bit about Semanami Organization. Uh, my name is Gordon Odor, just mm -hmm. as Eve has just said. Um, from Semanami Organization, I'm actually the founder. Mm -hmm. uh, Semanami was founded three years back, okay. and it, it, it is a, a brainchild of a need, mm -hmm. because by then I was a high school teacher, but okay. on voluntarily purpose. Mm -hmm. and I realized when you started that, the organization? Yeah, when I started mm -hmm. the organization. Mm -hmm. And I realized that as I, was, as I was a teacher, there are so many things that really made a lot of impact, mm -hmm. uh, that really pushed me to start this organization. Because at first you realize most students were into drugs, mm -hmm. some students were dropping out of school, yeah. others were in teenage pregnancy, mm -hmm. others were actually, um, they were just truants. Uh, tru truant. yeah. So when all this, when I, when, I, when I sat down, I thought to myself, how best can, how best can I help this, mm -hmm. uh, these students, especially these students in formal settlement? Because mm -hmm. I believe that the ones that are hardly hit yeah, by this exactly. menace. Yeah. So when you were teaching, what classes or maybe were you teaching so that... You can tell us which group is mostly affected, maybe which age group is mostly affected by these things. Okay, I used to teach across from one all the way to form four mm -hmm. because it was, a new, uh, it was a new school. It was hardly two years old. Yeah. But again, um, I realized that in my encounter mm -hmm. uh, with, with the classes that I was teaching, mm -hmm. I could realize there were, lot, there were really lots of problems, especially t teaching teenagers in school, especially a teenager who really doesn't know herself yeah. or himself mm -hmm. or hasn't really uh, re reinvented or identified who, who he or he, she is. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, um, teaching these students and um, finding out these things, that is when you started Semanami organization. So what was your particular goal at that point? What was my particular goal at that point? I realized that most of these students, mm -hmm. they, were, they were the way they were because they lacked what's called exposure. So mm -hmm. they needed exposure and also they needed a platform whereby they could express themselves yeah. and also a platform whereby they could find some, some sort of help. That is why, that's why we started off Semanami. In, in short, Semanami simply means Semana Mimi, talk to me, I yes. help you out. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, what are maybe some of the major problems that you encountered from these young people that you thought that Semanami can actually deal with? You know, there are problems that mm. you identify, but you True. know, there's nothing I can do about this. Maybe mm. if I do something, kidogo sana. All right. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I realized that uh, when these students sit their final exams, mm -hmm. most of them don't really do well. Yeah. And when they don't do well, they lose hope. Mm -hmm. So one, one of the first uh, steps that we did as a Manami organization is to create what we call uh, school conferences. Yeah. Now in school conferences, they will come, they get mentored on matters career so that at least at Aukiwa Shule, mm -hmm. like if you score your D, it's not the end of the world. If exactly. you score your E, if you score your D minus, it's not yeah. the end of the world. At least there are those courses mm -hmm. that you can do that can help you um, uplift yourself from one level to the other. Mm -hmm. So that is one, one, one need that we really uh, invested on mm -hmm. uh, in most of our uh, high school conferences. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also another thing that we also realize is that we realize that most of these young girls uh, in school, they suffer because like there are certain, there are certain needs that, are, that cannot be met at home yeah. that maybe can only be met if they, if, they, if they get into relationships or something of the sort. Like a good example, mm -hmm. the sanitary towels. Yes. I know it's not a shame to mention it on national TV, no, but we realize mm -hmm. that um, most of these girls, they indulge in relationships just mm -hmm. because they cannot afford them. Afford so when we create such kind towels. of conferences, we, we donate mm -hmm. free sanitary uh, towels to, uh, to the girls. Yeah. We also support them with stationery, but stationery mm -hmm. cutters across. Mm -hmm. And also we make it a bit enjoyable for them by giving them an opportunity to mm -hmm. be able to express and expose their talents and mm -hmm. also get uh, like-minded organizations or, mm. or studios or, you know, which, which come on board just, to, just as a way of supporting them in recording their works yes. yeah, and also shooting their works. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. How hard was it for you um, three years back trying to get these children in the right direction? You know, being in informal settlements, people... Or, or just maybe any settlement. It's hard. Sometimes it can be hard to reach out to the young people, especially teenagers. How hard was it for you and how did you go about it? 
Okay, in initial stages, it mm -hmm. was really not easy for us to really run semi conferences because at first, you know, most mo most youths, they prefer coming at a place whereby watakuja wa kulengoma, as in, exactly. they, yeah, wa kulengoma. But when they realized ngoma is not the main reason, mm -hmm. as in you realize that people people tend, tend not to show up. Yeah. So what we did is that, I remember there was a time we had a conference, uh, the, our first conference actually, mm -hmm. and our conference used to start from all the way from 2 to around 5 p.m. It mm -hmm. was a one-week conference at Shalom yes. House. Actually, Shalom House has been our major supporters in mm -hmm. this because mm -hmm. they, uh, they've been providing venues for us actually mm -hmm. for free. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, when, when we used to have that conference, we realized that most of these youth could not come at that time when there was mentorship programs because we used to start with mentorship, mm -hmm. then entertainment at around 4 p.m. Yeah. So you'll be surprised at around 4 p.m. Wang, because of <laughs> Debe. <laughs> you, call, you call it Debe. Mm -hmm. So Wange Jasana, mm -hmm. and you realize it was a bit of a challenge. So what we, used to, what we did was mm -hmm. we tried to like, really... Uh, Fuse, fuse it in the essence that we could we could come up with a program whereby mm -hmm. in, in between the in the in between the program yeah. we interchange music, speak, yes. uh, speakers uh -huh. and also uh -huh. entertainment okay, and yes. also give them an opportunity to uh, to showcase their talent so uh -huh. they could find a whole you know a whole package mm -hmm. at once yeah like yeah. you have a speaker then you have some music then you yeah, have some, some that was a good idea yeah, because yeah. Yeah. Vingine, vingine. <laughs> of course what kind of talents um, did you mostly um, see from those young people and how have you continued to help them up to this point if one thing i can say mm -hmm. and this is something that as i answer your question i yeah. realize that we are living in a society whereby the youths have got a lot of potential lot. these people have got potential the only thing that is lacking is that they're lacking somebody to mm -hmm. hold them up somebody to give them that exposure somebody to give them that interview the way you're now doing it to me you exactly. know yeah it's it's a it's a form of exposure to them mm -hmm. that is why you realize that uh, for us what we've been able to do in most of our events we give them a, if, if we realize you're good in music we give them that platform for free mm -hmm. we tell them if you're good in music come and showcase if you're good in modeling come and showcase if you're good in drama and theater come and showcase it you know mm -hmm. but after doing after doing so we mm -hmm. also identify those organizations that are really into different sectors because not all of the all organizations support drama yeah not all organizations music. support music and the rest yeah. so we tend to make them compete favorably uh -huh. whereby those who uh, those who those who, whose performances are outstanding mm -hmm. we give them an opportunity to be able to the, uh, to be able to move move a notch higher yes. but that doesn't mean that we also do away we we also not support those who are upcoming as well uh, uh, of course we, we also give upcoming opportunities mm -hmm. to be mm -hmm. able to also continue expressing themselves and also connecting them to the right avenues yes and i will say for sure mm -hmm. and uh, with a lot of um, uh, with, uh, with a lot of confidence mm -hmm. that our conferences have been able to, uh, to, to support most of these youths and yeah. uh, record their, 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 their music, music for free. Uh -huh. a, good, a good example is Shuja Records. Uh -huh. they're, they're our major sponsors as far as recording is concerned. Okay. They, 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 uh, they identify a talent, uh -huh. they record the music, uh -huh. and, and they also shoot the music. Yeah. And uh, many of them have, have really benefited out of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, have you followed up with um, some of these? people who or maybe some of these young people that you've supported to get their talents out there or maybe just tell us some of your success stories from Semanami organization when it comes to success stories uh i have many but i'll just share a few mm -hmm. number one out of Semanami mm -hmm. we've had uh, one of one of our own artists some uh, a boy who, who really didn't couldn't imagine one day he could be out there recording his music and doing yeah. so well but currently though though he's not he's not a household name at the moment but mm -hmm. i believe in mm -hmm. future he'll be a household he name will be. Okay. yeah there, there have also been some models who mm -hmm. i remember there's a case of a lady mm -hmm. who 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 came in one of our contests she was so she was so uh, sorry i would say she was so young in modeling yeah. and you know she kept telling me hey god i want to compete in modeling but mm -hmm. i used to tell her ah, with your age i you know and with, with experience she, she could she could keep pressing and tell me go and give me this opportunity now when i gave the lady an opportunity interestingly enough out of 30 models that competed in our 2018 uh, youth league conference mm -hmm. the lady emerged position three beating of uh, i don't know 20 something ladies yeah because of that courage and that who are, push who are you know, older than her who are even older than uh -huh. her so these are one of our success stories and also another success story that i will also highlight here mm -hmm. there was a time we had a conference and one of one of the boys just came to me and told me gordon you know what i'm having some difficulty paying my fees and you know keeping up to myself so i told i told him um can you give me much about you uh, much information about your details where you come from and everything interestingly enough it was so it really pained me that this is a student yeah. who 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 
who uses school mm-hmm. the, the school is like is it, the school is home and at the same time the school is is a schooling environment so yeah. during during uh du- during school uh during uh, uh, uh school time mm-hmm. he uses school as an education center but yeah. when everyone has gone home that, that is, is the sleeps. home yeah so i decided to push through this this story mm-hmm. and it was aired on ntv i think last uh 2019 mm-hmm. yeah the story of the boy was aired and mm-hmm. the boy w- managed to got to get some support okay. from Mushimiwa Manje mm-hmm. who, from Kajiado North who mm-hmm. was a, who, 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 who took the boy and you know decided to sponsor the boy so that is also one of my major success stories that I'm really really proud of yes. yeah as an initiator of Semanami okay yeah. other than uh, mentoring young people um helping them push their talents out there you also do um, business trainings you know to support um, young artists or no not young artists but um, young business people to push their businesses forward and just educating them more about running their businesses talk to us about that yeah uh, as semanami we also as far as uh, impacting on the young generation mm-hmm. and on the youth in general we usually organize what we call a uh, youth exhibition day or mm-hmm. uh, that is sometimes it's marked by youth conference yes. where we give the youth an opportunity to showcase the different uh, different businesses that they do from art artwork display mm-hmm. um sales of uh, uh, sales of shoes clothes or anything any any business that a, y- a youth is engaged in yeah. why why do we do so we do so because we believe Uh, for you to impact someone is not it's not about it's not it's not about theory it has to go practically yes. so that is why we give them such an opportunity to be able to showcase whatever they have to showcase mm-hmm. uh, for one for marketing purposes two for possible sales mm-hmm. and also three to get that exposure mm-hmm. for their businesses mm-hmm. yeah Mm-hmm. So um you had planned a conference the next conference for 2021 right but it got cancelled unfortunately due to the res- restrictions that have been introduced yesterday talk to us a bit about that and maybe when you plan it next and what you are hoping out of that conference that you had planned Yeah, uh, one thing just to make a clarification as semanami mm-hmm. we do organize what called youthly conference mm-hmm. that is an annual event except for last year because of how the covid cases were yeah. now one of uh, the main, the main essence why we came up we, we come up with such kind of forums is so that at least we we enlighten the youths like uh, we were supposed to do our event this uh, on 17th of april but we were forced to push it forward because of uh, the restrictions that were there and one of the major uh, one of the major uh, push power that really pushes us to have such kind of conferences is um when 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 they come when they come to such kind of um uh, conferences number mm-hmm. one they don't they don't get back the same they get back with opportunities yes um they get back feeling um at least their needs have been have, have been met mm-hmm. and also they, they 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 get back at least feeling a bit rejuvenated because for example someone might come uh, might come to our conference because mm-hmm. most of our conferences we include uh, career car- yeah. career guidance because we invite universities and colleges mm-hmm. it includes legal clinic because we invite legal farms we also include medical uh, medical uh, medical clinic because mm-hmm. we invite uh, me- uh, medical institutions to be able to at least address some of the issues that that are health related So when we have such kind of uh, when when we have such kind of uh, uh, congregation at least when a youth when any youth attends attends the congregation at least he can he or she comes out some somebody totally a whole pack a whole, yeah. a whole package kind of yes and uh, we really believed if if everything went as as per we had planned mm-hmm. then we believe this conference could have really impacted as many mm-hmm. youths out there as but as it has been doing yearly yeah. in our in our annual uh, youth conferences mm-hmm. yeah but we are not we haven't lost in hope still we are uh, we, res- we have rescheduled it to 15th of may mm-hmm. and we believe by then most of these cases shall, uh, this uh, this uh, so these cases shall have dropped by yes. by a minimal percentage mm-hmm. and we believe we also believe maybe it, it was just a it was just another way of us getting uh, getting getting back to the drawing board and seeing what was it that we exactly. not put in order yeah. that we really need to put in order mm-hmm. uh, as as far as the next one mm-hmm. is coming on forth of course yeah mm-hmm. and um how if someone wanted to work with semanami organization maybe a young person who wants um their talent pushed forward um, or maybe struggling somewhere that needs your help how can they reach out to you okay one way you can reach out to us as semanami is through official numbers uh that will uh that i think if you mm-hmm. probably will display or mm-hmm. have it to, no uh, just yeah, share so. share it also oh, yeah. our, our number is 0718 18 again 76 73 that's one way of reaching out to us then you can also reach reach Repeat out to us kindly. Uh-huh. yes uh, sorry uh 0718 18 76 73 
Mm-hmm. You can also reach, reach out to us through our social, social media handles, the, uh, Facebook, uh, Semanami Initiatives, and also on Instagram at Seman, uh, Semanami underscore Semanami Organization. You can also uh, reach out to us at our physical offices at Shalom House. That's where we are, we are, we are, uh, we are located week, on weekdays and also on weekends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, just a word to the young people who are watching the show right now. Maybe just give them a word of, of encouragement as we wind up. I, uh, before I do that, Eve, will you allow me to say something? Yes, please do. <laughs> yeah, I feel um, mm-hmm. our, our leadership, our, mm-hmm. as I will say, it's not, it's not attacking our young leadership, but I feel the young leaders that we have mm-hmm. are really not doing enough to be able to support or push some bills that are that that, that can support the youth because mm-hmm. i usually f- i feel that uh, as far as we have so many goodies uh, in our bbi uh, document but i feel um, more needs to be done no bbi is just a document but more needs to be done because uh, you realize that today eve as we speak if you are to hire K, uh, knt mm-hmm. to probably do, do do a play or do a show mm-hmm. you'll be surprised you are charged twenty thousand or even on minimum 10,000. Okay. But how many, pe- how many youths are really, are really passionate about their talents and they really want such kind of avenues to be able to create some sort of income? So I think those are one of the areas that our leadership really needs to look into uh, mm-hmm. as, as a genuine way of supporting the youth. Not, 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 really, not necessarily by just creating some documentation. Uh, to, uh, that, that sounds good. Uh, in the in the ear of a youth, but really on mm-hmm. real sense and practical terms, it's really mm-hmm. not, you know, That's just the But as a actions. summary, mm-hmm. yeah, okay. as a summary, I will encourage the youth to be able to reinvent in yourself as in discover yourself reinvent yourself and connect yourself to the right places when you connect yourself to the right places you will not remain the same and also if you feel there is uh there's an if you really if you feel you have an, a situation that needs some sort of mentorship we have so many men- mentors who will be able to work with you take you through and support you yeah okay mm-hmm. thank you so much for coming through santi we appreciate your time so much thank and you. just one last question. Um, today we were asking our fans, yeah. what profession do you think has the most liars? The profession that has got the, the most, most liars, yes. Liars. In your opinion. In my opinion, mm-hmm. uh, is media. <laughs> <laughs> media Why is, media? Why media? Because so many people feel that uh-huh. uh, when, when you're media, you're on TV, you're getting the likes, you're getting, you know, you're getting the exposure, you're getting, you know. Uh, you know, uh, that, that's why most people are really, really, really uh, struggling up to be able to take, partake these uh, courses that are media, media related because they have this mentality mm-hmm. that, you know, in the media industry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But that's not being a lie. No, I don't think you understood the question. Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm. That, that, that is just what you're saying is those people think that yeah. being in the media yeah. is where you live that good life. Yeah. But what we're asking is, yeah. you know, for example, let me give you an example. Yeah. Umenda kwa fundi wako wa nguo. You know, umempelekea nguo, natika unishone nguo, I have an, an occasion to go to tomorrow. Anakuambia sawa. By sanane, come, I'll be done. Okay. Unenda sanane, badu. badu. Ametoroka, oh, sijuzi, mefanya nini, 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 nini. Yeah. Those are the kind of lies you're talking about, you know. Let's say, for example, DJs. Anasema ata kuchezea certain song. Umenda ukampata pale kwa booth yake ya club. I'll play you. Nichezee, nichezee. You'll never see it. That is what you're talking about. You get it. I get you. Uh-huh. Um, pardon me for that because I really didn't no answer worries. the question. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, I think one profession that is really affiliated to what you're trying to say, mm-hmm. um, it's uh, l- the law. Mm-hmm. Lawyers. Okay. No, yes, now, now you're yeah. on the right track. Uh-huh. Yeah, because lawyers sometimes, uh-huh. you know, they will, they will tell you this, They'll you'll book an appointment with them, they'll tell you this, mm-hmm. come this, mm-hmm. we do this, yes. you know, but again, uh, you know, something just changes all over, uh-huh. you know. Yeah, but it, 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 it's something that has really happened uh, happened to me, uh-huh. actually, out of experience, uh-huh. whereby someone tells you, come at this time, uh-huh. yeah, I'll be having a meeting with you, mm-hmm. or you'll be my, my client at this particular time. But yes. again, when you show up, you're like, ah, okay, wait for another two hours, you know, <laughs> oh, wow. the two hours, you know, turns out to be a whole day. So I think, yeah, according mm-hmm. to my... Uh, according, uh, according, uh, according to me, mm-hmm. I think law lawyers. Is, yeah, lawyers. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, all right. Talk to us. What do you think? What profession do you think has the most liars? Talk to us on our social media platforms, Y254 channel, across all platforms. Once again, Gordon, thank you so much for coming through. We appreciate the work you're doing. That keep pushing these young people. They need a push. They need some help. So keep doing it.
uh, thank you so much. And uh, if you're out, you're out there and you feel you can, you want to support our initiatives, our numbers are there. You can always partner with us. By the way, we like partnering with uh, with organizations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one thing that also helps us meet some of the budgets as we run these yeah. events. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you want to say? Anything else? Kutuma salamu anywhere. <laughs> Natuma salamu kwa watu wa Semanami Theatre because it uh, actually I run a theatre theater uh -huh. production. They're doing right. an amazing job. Uh -huh. You have over 50 youths. Okay, yeah. nice. So a shout out to all my uh, Semanami uh, thespians. Na wapenda sana. Na pia pale nyumbani, watu nyumbani, mom, dad. Yeah, they've always been my support. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, thank you so much once again. And we hope to see you here again or maybe some of your talents that you're pushing out there. Thank you once more. Anyway, we are taking a short commercial break, a short musical break. Don't you go anywhere. We'll be back.